I'm Tiger Jones, host of the most popular TV survival show, Amazonia. The Amazon rainforest is one of God's most fascinating and mysterious creations. Twelve thrill seekers have signed up for the adventure of a lifetime. Their goal? To survive six days in the wild of the Amazon. While battling the elements of the rainforest, teams of two will use their unique skills to solve a variety of challenges, earning a medallion for each one completed. At the end of each challenge, one team will be eliminated until only two remain. These final teams will battle it out to be the first to deliver their medallions to a hidden location. The prize at stake? $100,000. Let's meet our teams! Cliff and Holly, Team Saliba. Mark and Louie, Team Ohanzi. Scout and Hunter, Team Marubo. Nelly and TJ, Team Arawak. Barker and Chase, Team Andoke. And Ace and Cruz, Team Yawanawa. 12 contestants, six teams, only one will be declared the winner of Amazonia. Oh, oh man, that storm was brutal. Okay, now Cruz, we gotta be on our A game for tomorrow's challenge because it'll most likely be something that, Cruz? Cruz! Oh no. Where'd she go now? Alert! Problem! Major, major complication! Calm down. W what happened? Okay, so I stopped back there to see a blue morpho. A blue morpho is a... It's a type of butterfly. Level 35 of my game, Jungle Nightwalk, has them. Uh. Anyway, I really wanted to see one in real life. So what's the problem? So, when I got closer to the tree, I think I was bitten by a sloth mite! A sloth mite? A Sloth mite? A sloth mite? Oh no. That's the one that significantly slows down your movements and your speech, so you're acting like an actual sloth, right? Mm hmm. And so the way I figure it, I probably got about three more. Cruz. Cruz. Oh no. Oh no. No more minutes. The side effects have kicked in. Cruz, we've got to get you back to the treehouse so you can rest. You should be better in the morning, okay? All right? Oh. Okay. Oh, a message from Parker and Chase. I thought they were eliminated. Yup. For this season's final challenge, you'll need an extra medallion with a new troop. It can only be earned by gaining the respect of an eliminated team. Yeah, you guys have worked so hard in this competition and deserve some serious respect. We've chosen to give you two our shield medallion and some extra supplies that are gonna help you in the last challenge. This will remind you that what you face throughout the rest of the competition, you can trust that God will protect you. The supplies are waiting for you back at the camp. Just strong, Yawanawa. We're rooting for you too. <laughs> well, that's a season twist I wasn't expecting. High five. Oh. Come on, let's get you back to camp. You gotta rest up. Oh, boy. Looks like you're feeling back to normal this morning. I see! There you are! Pew, pew, pew! Are you like super pumped for our final challenge? Bring it on, Tomiki! What has gotten into you? What? It's the finals! We could actually win the grand prize! <sighs> okay, but uh, what's that swampy juice you've got there? Oh, this? It's jungle juice. My avatar always drinks it for an energy boost before wrestling the crocodiles in my game. You want some? Uh, I think I'll pass. Sit yourself. <sighs> hey, you remember the medallions, right? Oh, yep. Uh, I've got the ones that we've earned and the ones from Parker and Chase as well. Awesome. I also brought that raft in case we need that. Oh, 
Oh, hey, good thinking. And it looks like Parker and Chase left us some oars and a compass. So obviously we're gonna need those for whatever they throw at us today. Mm -hmm. Oh, the final challenge. Contestants, today's the day you've been waiting for. We'll soon see which of our final two teams will win this season of Amazonia and be heading home with the $100,000 prize. Tomiki, tell them what they need to know to begin today's challenge. This challenge may sound simple at first, but it will require teamwork and reliance on the knowledge you've gained throughout your time on this season of Amazonia. Listen carefully to today's clue a crossword you must solve to win the prize you so desire. Remember what you've learned to complete the steps this task requires. You'll need all medallions, including the one you'll find today to complete your crossword. The completed crossword will then guide you to your final location. The team to successfully deliver all medallions to the final location given in the puzzle will be declared the winner of Amazonia. A crossword puzzle? I drink jungle juice for extra energy to do a crossword puzzle. Well, we still have to solve it and find today's medallion. Um, let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, here we go. Huh, there it is. Well, that's weird. There's yeah. no clues on it. Yeah, that is strange. Oh, maybe that's why we need our medallions. Huh, okay, so these colored boxes right here must be part of the clue for the location. Uh, can you get the box out of my backpack? Sure. Uh, Ace? Uh-huh? Do you have a key for this thing? Uh, no, but that's what these envelopes are for, probably. Oh. We've got a picture of a key on this first one and a medallion on the second. Hmm. All right, well, let's open them up, see what's inside. All right. Huh. Okay, mine, mine looks like some sort of puzzle. Ah, mine too. I actually got really good at these playing Hidden Legends. I'll race ya. All right, uh, huh, some sort of bird. Almost there. Got it. Okay, mine is a picture of the bridge we passed on the way to the swamp. All right, come on. Let's go get our medallion. Wait, 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 wait a second. We should figure out where the key is before we start running all over the rainforest. Right. Uh, Have you finished yours yet? Oh, I got it. Look. Yeah, it's just a bunch of parrots. That could be anywhere. We are in the rainforest after all. No, 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 Ace. That's Parrot's Landing. Huh? Oh, wait a second. Is that on the way to the bridge? No, not at all. It's like several hours north of it. It's gonna take us hours to get to both of them. Hmm, how about we just split up? Good thing Parker and Chase left us this compass. You know how to work that? Of course I do, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been training for this my whole life, remember? I know, I forgot. Okay, so you head north to Parrot's Landing to get the key. I'll go to the bridge to get the medallion. Deal. Hey, uh, do I need the raft or anything? No, but I do. <sighs> Oh, hey, Ace. Uh-huh. Make sure to cover your head when you get to Parrot's Landing. What? Why? The Parrot Poo. It's pretty much unavoidable. Before we find out what happens next with Ace and Cruz, everybody jump up and sing one of our favorite songs. God, you're powerful and right. You protect me day and night. You are loving, you are kind. Oh, God, you're always in control. You know everywhere I go. You are good and you are wise. Oh, there is nothing, there is nothing that you can't do. You can do anything. There is nothing, there is nothing too hard for you. Nothing. 
everyone take a seat what animals are hiding in the rainforest shout out your best guess Amazing job! Oh no! The parrots got you! <sighs> yeah, no kidding! It was like a parrot poop storm! Ugh. Did you get the key though? <sighs> yep, it was gross, but it was worth it. <laughs> All right, how'd things go for you? You don't, you don't really look like yourself. Oh, um, well, I got the medallion! <laughs> nice! Then things took a turn. Oh no, you didn't fall off the bridge, did you? Well, not all the way off. I mean, the raft caught me and I pulled myself up and... But then this happened. Oh no! I know, I'm so sorry, Ace. If we lose today's challenge, it's gonna be all my fault. No, 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 it's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, let's, let's just solve that crossword. Okay. Oh, I'll get the medallions. Do you have the key? Yep. Here you go. Thanks. I see numbers on them, and they each have symbols to remind us of a truth they revealed about who God is. Okay, uh, that must be the blanks we need to fill in for each of the crosswords. Okay. Each one of these has to be a truth about God. Okay, so here, um, I'll read off the numbers and describe the symbols and you fill in the blank. Got it. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see, um, what's the first one? First medallion has a number one. It, oh, it's double-sided. Hmm? The side with the one has a brain and the other side is the number seven and it has eyes as the symbol. All right, what truths about God have we discovered so far? Hmm, that he's all powerful, mm -hmm. he's loving, he sees me and- He sees he... me and he knows me. That's it. <gasps> okay, so number one is nose, right? Yep. And number seven's gotta be C's, does it fit? Oh yeah, they both fit. <laughs> nice work. What's next? Okay, um, oh, that's weird. Hmm. So there are two medallions with the number two on them. Uh, one has the symbol of the world and one has a shield. Okay, well, we can see how powerful God is just by looking at all the things that he's created. Yep, powerful fits for number two across and uh, shield has to be number two down, right? Now that's the one that Parker and Chase gave us. They said that God would protect us. Oh, protects, protects fits. Oh, we are crushing this. Okay, so the third medallion has a heart on it. It's gotta be loving. Remember how we discovered that his love for us never changes? Yep, loving fits. All right, what's number four have on it? <laughs> it's got like a thumbs up, like the thumbs up emoji. Hmm, okay. What are the other truths left? Um, let's see. God is good, he is always right. Oh, good fits. <laughs> All right, what's number five have on it? Huh, well that's weird, there isn't a number five. 
But there's a number six and it has a Nike symbol on it. Nike? Yeah, like a check mark. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense for the word right. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what about the number five though? I mean, we just have that one left until we figure out what those colored boxes mean. Hmm. L O blank K. But Ace, we've got to have that last word. Okay, what about the new medallion we got from the bridge? Tiger Jones said we need all the medallions. Yes, you're right. <sighs> Let's drop it in the box. Here we go. The final truth. You've made it so far, and you're now discovering your final truth about who God is. No matter what challenges you face in your lives, this truth will comfort you along your journey. God is always in control. But if you take a look at Job's life, you wouldn't think so. Job had everything a guy could ask for. A wife, kids, lots of friends, plenty of money, and tons of sheep, oxen, and camels. Job was living the good life. But most of all, Job loved God and followed his rules. One day, God and Satan had a meeting. God said, look at Job. There is no one on earth like him. He is a good, faithful man. He loves me and does what's right. Satan told God, the only reason that Job acts this way is because he's got it all. If you hadn't blessed him with all that stuff, he wouldn't want anything to do with you. God told Satan that wasn't true, and he could test Job and see. That's when things got a little crazy. One by one, Job's servants came to him to report some very bad news. All of his animals had been stolen or killed, and some of his servants had even been murdered. Just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, they did. Right after Job heard about his animals and servants, another servant had some terrible news. All of his children, ten of them to be exact, were having a meal together when a great wind came and killed everyone. Job couldn't believe what he had heard. He was so sad that he tore off his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground and he cried out to God, but it wasn't what you think he would say. He said, God gives and he takes away. Blessed be the name of God. Instead of being mad at God, he praised him. Job knew that God was still in control even when things looked bad. It didn't stop there though. Satan told God that even though Job had praised God when everything was taken away, he certainly wouldn't if he felt sick. Satan tried to prove once more that he was right by putting painful boils all over Job from his head to his feet. Job sat in a pile of ashes, feeling so much pain, but he still didn't talk bad about God. Job's wife thought this was ridiculous. Maybe God wasn't in control after all. She took one look at him and said, you should just curse God and die. Job told his wife that he would never do that. Then Job's friends came to see him. He looked so bad that they didn't even recognize him. They didn't know what to do, so for seven days they sat with Job and didn't say a word because he was in so much pain. Then Job started talking, saying that he wished he was never born and that he had had enough and wanted to die. Three of Job's friends didn't help the situation either. They said that he must have done something terrible because bad things just kept happening. When Job told them that he had done nothing wrong, they told him, you are probably just too proud to admit it. That's when another friend couldn't take it anymore. Here was Job wishing he had never been born and complaining, and then his friends kept blaming him. He said to Job, who are you to question if God is in control? This wasn't right. Suddenly a voice came out of the wind. It was God talking. He said, who is asking if I am in control? I have wisdom that you cannot understand. Job got the message. He realized that he was wrong and that God was in control, no matter what was happening in his life. Then he prayed to God. After that, God blessed Job and gave him double what he had before. Like Job, there will be times in our lives when things are going great or when nothing seems to be going right. Maybe it's something awesome like getting a new iPhone, or maybe you lose something that you've worked so hard for. Whatever it is going on in your life, good or bad, you can always remember that God is in control. God is in control. Yahweh Nawa, you've discovered so many truths about who God is by hearing stories from the Bible. 
God controls the good and bad things that we face. And we can have peace in any situation by remembering that God is totally in charge. As you continue in today's challenge, remember to apply this truth, no matter the outcome. We got the last truth! God is in control! That's number five! See, the colored boxes give us a clue to our final location. The missing letter is C. Hmm. Lock. So we need another key? No. It's Lock Canyon. Uh, where's that? Oh, it is one of the most mysterious places in the Amazon discovered by a millionaire by the name of Alberto Locke. According to the legend, anyone who enters the land will lose everything they've ever worked for. We're not gonna go, are we? Yeah, <laughs> of course we are. It's called the legend for a reason, Ace. We can't forget about the actual truth we discovered today, that God is in control of everything. You're right. We can't let Clark and Louie beat us. So you grab the medallions and I'll grab the... What's wrong? We can't get to Lock Canyon without the raft. It's like way, way up the river. We're never gonna make it in time if we have to hike the path. Uh, it's okay. We just can't give up, remember? <sighs> huh, what could this mean? Congratulations to Clark and Louie on being the first to deliver all seven medallions to Lock Canyon. Their survival skills throughout the competition have led them to the grand prize of $100,000. What? Is it some kind of joke? How could they win and not us? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess they were just faster than us. This is so not fair. I really thought we were gonna win. Yeah, well, I guess it's kind of like that story we heard from the Bible. Yeah, you're right. We are so like Job. And in the end, everything worked out just fine for him. So I guess we just have to trust that God is in control of everything that happens to us. Hey, you know what? What? I think we should finish the challenge. I mean, we may not win the grand prize, but at least we'll know that we finished every single challenge here on Amazonia. Okay, you're right. Let's finish this challenge. Ah! No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm gonna miss sleeping outside. Oh man, <laughs> not me. <laughs> well, we did it. And I know we didn't win, but I'd say we were two pretty solid competitors. <laughs> yeah, but I guess it's the end of the road for Team Yawanawa. That's weird. The game's over. Ace and Cruz, congratulations on completing your final challenge. No other team in the history of the show has chosen to finish out the competition knowing that they will not win the grand prize. You should be proud of your efforts and the truths that you've learned. Because of the way you both chose to finish the game, the producers have decided to invite you both back next season to compete in Amazonia's first ever All-Star Edition for a chance to win a grand prize of one million dollars. Tomiki and I can't wait to see you both back again next season on Amazonia. <gasps> what? We get to come back for the first ever All-Star Edition? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Team Yawanawa has another chance at victory. We'll be back and better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play this or that to review some things we learned today. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, wave your hands this way. And if you think the answer is on that side of the screen, wave your hands that way. What did Job lose? A boat and a compass or everything he had? Wave your hands toward the answer you think is correct. He lost everything he had, his animals, his children, his health, everything. After Job heard God's voice, what did he remember? That God can fly or that God is in control? You got it. Even though so many hard things happened in Job's life, he still trusted that God was in control of all things. 
who can we trust with everything in our lives, God or Tiger Jones? No matter what we face, good things or bad, we can trust that God has a good plan and is in control of everything. Great job, everybody. All right, let's pray. God, thank you for helping us see that you are always in charge. No matter what happens in our lives, help us to remember that you're in control and that you're always working things out for our good. We love you. Amen. All right, you just finished the Zonia. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, you know, I, I feel good. First things first, I gotta take a shower to get all this bird poop off me. Sleeping in that raft. It was legit comfortable. I mean, everybody says memory foam, but... She is the best knock-knock joke teller I've ever heard in my life. Knock-knock. The next winner of Amazonia All-Star Edition. <laughs> Got a little bit annoying here and there. He blows his nose so loud. <laughs> going on up in there, but it was high-pitched, and it was funny. You were saying? I think I've realized that there's more to life than just playing video games. I mean, I think I'm really excited to, like, try new hobbies and do, like, outdoor adventures. Like, well, like that guy. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? That's Bob. He was great. Oh. Just some of the crew. <laughs> oh man, they're working hard out here. I'm really like thankful for all the producers and everybody involved with the show. It's just been a, it's been a really great experience. 